If you want to edit and format your text, you can do so using the inbuilt apps that come with the iPad like Notes and Mail. If you want a more detailed note-taking tool which lets you style your, your text and format it to, to look like something like a, pro, a word processor, there are apps like Notability and Pages, Penultimate that will allow you to do that. But we're just going to look at the app Notes and the same thing would work in Mail. I've got some text here and I want to look at how am I going to edit and format this just using the tools that come with the virtual keyboard. Now some of them we've looked at in previous iPad tips videos. So I'll just use all of the, the things that I know about to actually edit and format this text. So there's a mistake in the word power. So just tapping on it once will bring up the suggestions to correct the error. It's just a typo. So I can replace that word with power. If I want to cut something, need to have the actual uh, keyboard visible because if I don't, I want, what I want to delete is in that second paragraph what I want to look at. I want to delete those words. I want to cut them. Now it won't let me do that if the keyboard's down because if I try and select it, it's just going to let me copy. Uh, and even if I select those words, it's still only going to let me copy. Now I want to cut. So I need the, the keyboard up. Then I can select what I want. Just move that back. We use the magnifying glass. So I want to select just these few words, not all of that, just that. I want to cut that, which will do that. Now I have to change the T or capital T. So holding the magnifying glass and positioning the cursor, I can backspace to get rid of that small t, hold down the shift key or the up, up arrow to put the capital T back in. Now if I'm looking for different um, alternative words, so for uh, a word such as momentum, so again, let's get the uh, keyboard up. If I tap it twice, and do suggest, it doesn't give me any synonyms. I really don't know what other word there might be that I could replace momentum with. But I could tap it twice and define it, which doesn't give me synonyms, but at least it gives me some definitions of the word. Now I might decide I like the word impetus instead of momentum. So if I wanted to change that, I could now cut that word and type it in or I could use the microphone and just say it. Impetus. Now it puts the word in. I still have to get rid of the I, the capital I. But it's another way of replacing a word uh, and of using the voice control. Voice demand. So anything that you type in, so if let's go to a new paragraph, Add some text to this note. And depending on how clear you are, so this, it's given me some errors there, but still, it's too quicker than typing it. If I tap the blue, it, it um, suggests what, what a better replacement would be. So I can replace it that way. So it's quite quick. I don't actually have to go and position the cursor all the time. I can use the voice dictation and then just keep having the keyboard up, tap all the words that are wrong and let it replace it for me. Uh, it does left and right justify. So if I was to select this paragraph, go back there and select this paragraph, because if I did select all, it's going to do the whole note. And there is a left and right justify. So tapping that will right justify that paragraph. And then when you tap it again, it left justifies it. So it only does left and right justify, which may be useful. If I wanted to number these paragraphs, uh, I might use the emoticons that I've got in the emoji keyboard. So instead of having uh, a, num a one that I type, so I could go into the number keyboard and put a one and then a, a, a full stop, I could do it that way. But I want to make this paragraph stand out. So I'm going to change to the emoji keyboard and I'm going to pick one of the symbols. And 
a number one in there, and then a space, and then a number two, and then a space. Uh, anything else? Or maybe I'd like an arrow. So there's quite a few symbols there that you could do. And then when I've finished, go back to the Australian keyboard. Now don't forget there are sort of hidden characters on the keyboard that you can use in your formatting. So if we're on the Numer the uh, text keyboard, character keyboard, the letters, hold down the A, you get all these different alternative letters. So the A, the E, I, O, U, Z, C, S, and L all have alternative characters, hidden characters, as well as the uh, key down here. Hold that up. You've got the quick way to get the apostrophe and hold the question mark. You get a quick way to get to the quotes while you're still typing. Now the number keyboard also has some hidden keys. So if we switch to the, the number keyboard and hold down the zero, you get degrees. And just look at all the different keys that, that have alternatives. Holding down the dash will give you different types of dashes, a long dash, a short dash. The dollar sign for the different currencies. Ampersand. I don't know what that symbol is. Question mark. Exclamation mark. Different apostrophes. And on the question mark, let's go back to the numbers, onto the quotes, different styles of quotes the will stop will also give you an ellipsis so you just slide your finger up to actually change them now there is a third key keyboard too which is over here which is where most of those things are coming from so instead of actually keeping keeping switching between all the keyboards you can just hold the keys down now we've been doing the formatting in the notes app but there are some more formatting options if you were to compose an email in the mail app so let's do that just take all the text from here so i'm going to select it all so holding it down from there select all we'll take the lot and i can uh, rearrange it there blue dots just to, to be sure that i only select what i need select all copy that and they're going to paste it into mail so I'm going to create a new, just delete that one, create a new message and paste in that existing text. And now I can format that, bit, that a bit more. It has the same formatting and editing options as the Notes app, but in the mail you're able to actually style the text with bold, italics and underline. We find glass and select just these bits that I want and a new option now within the editing options is B I U bold italic underline so if I wanted to bold that I can tap that and I want all that phrase to be bold and then that will be a little bit different anything I wanted to change I wanted that word I've got to select the word first of all B I U and I want that one underlined so you can do a bit of for, uh, styling within mail. And it also lets you increase and decrease the quotes. So, so I wanted to add a quote to this text. I'm going to delete this. Just holding the backspace down will delete them. And let's just use the microphone to add a quote. What a fantastic course. Now it's put a little quote in for me. Now I'd actually like to indent that quote. So if I hold that down. And move the magnifying glass, select that quote. And now I've got in a uh, quote level. I can increase or decrease the quote. So I'd like it to go in a bit further, a bit further. I'd like to tab in from the actual text. Of course, now you see those little white lines, but you can't have everything. And you can decrease the quote level as well. So there is some styling within um, the mail. 
anything else you can do in mail so if I hold that down again uh, I can insert a, a photo or a video into this email and it has all the other similar formatting options that we looked at before.